The stomach cat found in the harsh desert looks cute in spite of the time. Sand cat is also called sand dune cat or desert cat. The scientific name is Felis margarita. This cat is the only cats that live in the dry desert. They range from the desert region of North Africa to the Southwest and Central Asia. On average, adult cats only weigh between 1.3 and 3.2 kilograms are maximum. To combat the harsh weather in the desert, the sand cat has a very thick coat, especially on the feet. The thick fur on the foot is also a good feature for cat lovers to easily escape predators. Sand cat, even as adults, keep their naive appearance with round face and short legs. The special feature of the sand cat is that they are the only species that lives primarily in the desert alone. Unlike lions, tigers, or leopards, sand cats often live alone. Only in the breeding season can they find a partner to mate. It is difficult to find them because their fur color is very similar to sand color. They are very brave cats because there is nothing to scare them, snakes, extreme weather, no water. Another special thing is that this cat barked like a dog. They also say meow as domestic cats, but sometimes they also barked like chihuahua dogs. And they are also very caring mothers and protect their children at absolute safety. Since 2002, sand cats have been listed by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources IUCN, as a threatened species because of the declining number of cat litters. Finding these cats in the wild is a great thing for biologists. However, you can only view them and admire on the visual medium. Because of its cute appearance, sand cat is not easy to tame and adapt to less harsh environment. Believe it or not, it turns out the flies still know wash their hands before eating it. Flies are one of the insects that are classified as the most dirty. The preferred place to live is the landfill, where the waste is stored, should be a source of infectious countless pathogens such as helminths, skin infections, eyes. Flies are unhygienic, everyone knows it, so you will be surprised to know that flies also wash hands before eating. Specifically, the fly will scrub the leg to clean, but what do they clean their feet for? According to scientists, flies often use their legs, eyes have complex structure, the same coat around the body to recognize the world around, feeding. Due to frequent exposure to garbage, waste, unhealthy places, this special part, the foot, is susceptible to many types of dirty to follow. As a result, they have to constantly brush their forelegs in order to increase the quality of their receptors. Take a closer look, you will find that this species not only wipes the legs, in fact, they will use their legs to brush their heads, wings, and hair on the body first. Finally, they brushed their forelegs together to complete the body cleaning. That means that they use their feet to remove all the dirt from the body and then enjoy the results themselves.
It can be seen, not only the physical fly, but they also do this quite thoroughly and thoroughly. You may be surprised to learn that the University of Arizona, US, has made a suggestion using a physical toilet to educate children's hygiene. In addition, flies spend a lot of time cleaning up the receptors. They do this several times a day. Strangely, scientists have found that the number of times they cleaned in a grooming routine was an odd number. In fact, some other insects also perform physical cleaning actions like flies, but flies seem to be the oddest and most ridiculous case. Remember that even when a fly wipes its legs when it binds to a surface for food, it is not safe to eat flies. The fly's brush process only ensures that the pieces do not block its receptors. Pathogens and harmful bacteria will remain on the fly and easily cause disease to humans. Discovered brain-shaped, slimy, plastic-like creatures in Canada. Researchers at the Stanley Ecology Association have uncovered a rather odd-looking creature at Lost Lagoon Lake, located south of Stanley Park in Vancouver, Canada. Specifically, the births are slimy, mucilage-like jellyfish and shaped like the human brain. They hide under the rivers and lakes in Canada. Through research, scientists claim that this is bryozoan species. In essence, bryozoan is not a single organism but a collective population of small individuals, called zooids, less than one millimeter in size. Each zooid is a bisexual entity, whose tasks, such as self-defense, reproduction, eating, etc., contribute to the whole population but must rely on each other to survive together. Especially as all zooids can be separated from the population, but the whole bryozoan so an individual still grows from a single egg. Zooid can only live underwater at temperatures above 16 degrees Celsius. They will bundle together in a flower-like mass, up to a maximum diameter of 2 meters, which can cling to aquatic plants, or move on the body of aquatic life very slow, 1 to 1.5 millimeters slash day. It is known that the fossil record identified bryozoan appeared 470 million years ago, under the ancient river. Due to the color is quite dark, almost the same color moss so the discovery of them under the water, the lake is quite difficult. Bryozoan blocks usually eat algae in nutrient-rich water. They can break the ecological balance in freshwater ecosystems if they increase in numbers. The scientific community is continuing to study more about this peculiar creature.